man, I got kicked outside. For some reason, my wife thought, you know, I was gonna burn down the house. All I'm making is thermite, you know. What's the problem with that? I can do that indoors. Yeah, so I'm outside. <laughs> What's going on guys? Today we're gonna to make thermite. I'm gonna show you two different ways on how to make it and we're gonna be putting it up against some stuff too. So you guys don't wanna stick around for this. All right guys, to make thermite, I got two different ways. One, you just buy everything. Two is you make it your own way. I got this right here, five pounds iron oxide, two pounds of aluminum and magnesium ribbon. This is what we're going to use to light it off. This is the easiest way of getting it. I'll leave links in the description below for all three of these items. You can buy them. And I got this in the five pound in the two pound bag for a certain reason. Because this will give you a good ratio. All you have to do is take your two pound bag of aluminum, dump it into your five pound bag of iron oxide, mix them together, and you have thermite. It's that quick, so you don't have to worry about measuring or doing anything else like that. That's the quickest and easy way to do it. Second way of doing it, I showed how to do this in my matchless fire starter with nickel and pennies. You can get yourself a solid chunk of aluminum, grind it out into a fine powder, um, into a vacuum through a coffee filter. If you want to go check that out, I'll put a link right, you yeah. know, just click on that and you can see how that's done. To get, and that's how you get your aluminum powder. To get your iron oxide, I had to wait a few days to make this video to just do proof of concept. Get yourself steel wool, fine steel wool. What you're gonna do when you got your fine steel wool is you're gonna burn it. All right, so after it gets done burning, you're left with this. This is actually 2FE, uh, what is it? 2FE2O3. It is iron oxide, but it's very low quality. If you grind this up and sieve it out, I did test it. This will work for thermite, but you have to use a higher percentage of uh, um, this to aluminum because this is pretty bad and one of the way to sift out most of the stuff that hasn't turned into iron oxide is just use a magnet and pull it out it's not that good that this way but once you get it burned and you're left over with this quickest easy way to convert this into iron oxide do yourself a jar put some salt water in it mix it all up and put your unburnt shavings in there as you can see it's already turned into rusty color this is after about six hours. Once this decomposes in iron oxide, I run it through a coffee filter. And through the coffee filter, I let it dry and break it apart and it is iron oxide. And that has worked. And it'll give you the more traditional red look like this one will, not like black iron oxide. You can use black iron oxide. That is an option. Just to show you guys, this way you don't have to measure, you don't have to do anything. We're gonna take our aluminum powder and our iron oxide powder. All we have to do is take this and dump in aluminum powder. Now we have our iron oxide and aluminum powder. All right. The easiest part about doing this is all we have to do is to block it back up. And all this will be in the description below if you guys just want to buy it quick, click on it and add it and you can get it done real quick. So this will be seven pounds of thermite. All right, it should be shaking up pretty good by now. If we open it, it should be all one consistency, which is a red color. There we go. 100 grams of thermite, which we're gonna put on top of this. See, and this is what it should look like when you're done. It's a nice red consistency. And if you see clumps of aluminum around in it that don't look blended, keep mixing. You want it all this one consistent, almost 
kind of more of a dull iron oxide red now because everything's coated in aluminum. All right, here we go. We got all this and to light it off, we need magnesium ribbon. It's also in the description below. It's like seven bucks for 25 feet. It's pretty cheap. Sounds like we burnt through it. A nice display, I'm not sure if you can see that. And by giving it the slower burn than some thermites have seen where they ask for more aluminum, this is slower, directs the heat more into getting through this. You can tell, this is a dog bowl. It's not that thick, but still. So it melted some rocks in with it. That's a mixture of aluminum oxide now and iron. You can turn rust back into iron. Boom! Alright, after burning that dog dish, my wife kicked me out of the house. So I'm here out in the middle of nowhere where nothing can burn. It's basically desert. You're doing it up against this back wall back here. So first up, let's try a Coke can. Boiling. All right, I think this one goes without saying, don't try this at home. My wife kicked me out of the house and told me not to do it there. So yeah, don't try this at home, it's stupid. But I'm doing it so you don't have to. Actually I'm doing it because it looks like fun. And I'm gonna take some cover. All right, here we go. Wish me luck. Run away! That's cool. No, I think it's done. Well guys, I got one more propane tank. Let's see if we can't get a boom out of it. Try a bit more thermite, like a lot. Let's kick it over. Oh! <laughs> Don't kick it. All right, let's kick it again.
That shit is so bright. <laughs> Didn't blow up like I wanted it to. Well, it looks like we have a shit ton of unburned thermite on the top. So. I think my mixture of thermite works pretty well. Wow, the heat coming off this thing. <laughs> That's what happens when you use too much thermite. Look at that. I'm not sure if the camera can catch it. Let's see. That is molten. All right, guys. Hope you like this. Please subscribe, share, comment, and like it. Please, it'll help me out. I'm really trying to grow, trying to do better things out there. And if you like, subscribe, comment, watch my videos if you enjoy them. I'm really looking forward to doing more stuff in the future. Kick uh, down here. To down arrow button and subscribe or if you're on PC right here subscribe check out any of my other videos or click this little subscribe button right here all right thank you guys thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed I have more plans coming up bye